morning and happy Sunday. Today is going to be a mommy and my little monsters day because Luis is out working. This is the kids breakfast. It is dry cereal and a mixed fruit because that's how they like their cereal. Nice and crunchy. Right Mika? Mika, see? Put your bib on, OA. Hey, OA. <laughs> <laughs> so while the kids are eating their breakfast as you can see I'm gonna do a little bit of a morning workout I'm just feeling like it this morning because it's a beautiful morning to wake up to I don't know about you, but the weather to me is everything and if I wake up to groggy skies I'm gonna feel a bit groggy not Not sad, but just a little bit less motivated. So this morning. I was just so pumped up to do Just to be active. So that's what I'm gonna do right now after I stretch a little Give up on my way home That's over. Oh my goodness. It's time to, it's my favorite part of the day. It's cleaning. Luckily, the kids are still eating and taking their sweet time, which is good because then I can clean and vacuum and wipe things up in peace. So I've always wondered this question, just like everybody has a different personality. Everyone has a different way of vacuuming. And I always wondered what kind of vacuumer Vacuumer are you are you the type of vacuumer where you just you're just like you just don't have time So you vacuum you're like this in like two minutes and then two minutes you're done Like you have better things to do than vacuum so you take like probably two minutes to vacuum a house as long as you did it As long as it's done you'll you'll call it vacuuming Are you like the landscaper type where you know how landscapers or like people who mow the lawn? They have like it in like in rows are you that type of vacuumer where you have to vacuum and you can see like um, the uh, the shading of the of the carpet when it goes this way it's darker when it goes the other way it's a lot lighter so you know you can see like you can see where the uh, vacuum markings have been are you that type of vacuumer or are you a pusher where whatever's on the floor do you don't pick it up you just push it out of the way and you do your thing you vacuum or are you the more organized and um, Let's see, paranoid one where you have to take everything up off the carpet and you gotta vacuum every nook and cranny and vacuuming sound. And it sounds like, from those who are listening to you, sounds like you've been vacuuming all day. <laughs> well, those are different type of vacuumers that I can think of. And for me, I am definitely two of those. I am more, I am the take everything off the carpet and vacuum every single nook and cranny. I also noticed that I'm like the landscaper vacuumer where I just... <laughs> Is there something about like seeing that crease and that light, that dark and light crease and like all nice and tidy on the floor, you know, as you vacuum along? For some reason, it just makes me feel like I got every single inch of the floor and it is vacuumed. For Luis, I can tell you, he is the, I don't have time for this vacuum. I'll listen to him on like my Mommy Mondays and his vacuum will be like two minutes when in reality it should take even longer than that. Um, and he'll be like, yep, I vacuumed the whole house. In my head, like, that took me like 30 minutes to do. So he's definitely the, I don't have time for this vacuum, like here, mm, done. I painted my nails, you guys, look it, it's this pretty blue. And this is kind of, this is not me, this is like out of my comfort zone. And the reason why I started branching out on nail polishes is because they have them at Dollar Tree. If you don't get them at Dollar Tree, they're like five bucks per bottle. And you guys, I'm not about to make my nails all pretty and buy a $5 no polish if that makes sense so Dollar Tree has some if you guys are interested in this one is this like it, there's white underneath and then I put blue on top oatmeal that's not oatmeal that's cereal yeah. see I'm just waiting for these kids to um, 
get done eating so that I can vacuum their seats, you know, get every nook and cranny. But in the meantime, I'm gonna move on to the couch, which is my favorite thing because right now it looks like there's a bunch of hair, which we don't ever let our dogs on the couch. It just floats in midair, lands on the couch, or the kids, you know, rolling on the floor. Da -da -da -da. But the best part, I just love vacuuming the, um, the couch because I can see the hair, but vacuuming it up and getting rid of the hair and just the, how the couch looks all nice and tidy. Oh, that's just like, that just makes my day for some reason. Look how nice and organized and clean it looks. Except for you. You. You don't belong here. Gotta get this out of here. No disrespect to San Francisco Niner fans. Like my husband, but this has got to go. It just doesn't go. It just doesn't. There. That's better. <laughs> much, much better. So Lucy totally just pranked me. So I told her, go get a diaper so I can change her diapers. And then she handed me a diaper. There was something inside. I'm like, what in the world? I about freaked out because this turd looking ball looked like a piece of poop. <laughs> and I screamed. <laughs> and I threw it. Then she was handing me a dirty diaper, diaper with her like poop in it. But look, I opened it up. Doesn't it look like... Kaka, look at that. But it's a ball. You got me. You got me. <laughs> she was like, I'm sorry, Mommy. Let me kiss your feet. And Mika's over there putting his baby to bed. Luckily, the floor is clean. Because otherwise, I'd have been like, pick up your cobija. It's time for dishes. Gotta conquer those dishes. Whenever I do dishes, it's not always a lot because I'm always constantly um, washing and I can't stand piled dishes. I have this scatterbrain, honestly, and I just, I can't just stand there and just do those dishes because I get, uh-uh. And every time I think of that, I think of like my friend David from, uh, from Walla Walla. He used to tell me, he's like, you have ADD brain because I couldn't do like one thing and just... That's how I am. So dishes are always washed. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. No. We don't play with cell phones. No. Go over there. Go play with your toys. Okay, you can drink agua. On the road again. I'm driving Luis's dinky little um, work car. He had to travel today, so I wanted him to take the van. It's really tight and crammed in here, and I feel really low to the ground because I'm so used to I'm so used to driving you know the van or just a lot higher like SUVs that's what I'm used to the kids and I we're gonna go to the store and probably look around do a little bit of grocery shopping and just do my thing just do my thing but have two kids on my in my hips not in my hips on my hips in the cart next to my hips this is how we do it it snacks that's how we do it. Do you see mommy? Hi Lucy. Hi Lucy. We're eating a snack. Good girl. What is that? Mickey. And Mickey. Oh. The adventures of Lucy in the park. We can little bit. In the world, you be oh, oh, we. I need a puppy. Mickey, Minnie, Oggy, Noggy, Oak. Can you see mommy? No, not your shoes. Oh, yeah. Bola. Wow, Bola, Mickey. <gasps> Who's this? Larry? Larry. Larry. <gasps> Larry. Look at this big one. Look. Show mommy. Show mommy. Show mommy. <gasps> oh, wow. Look at that. Larry. The kids are having some veggie nuggets, a little bit of ketchup, mixed fruit. This is just blueberries and cherries. And their corn mm -hmm. on the cob. The kids, they are so... They're such big kids that I didn't know that they could just eat corn off of the cob. I thought I had to cut it off, but they're really good at it. And what I'm gonna have is some Russian dumplings. This is how we prepare them in Southeast Alaska. 
best thing ever and I'm gonna eat it with sour cream because that's how you eat it oh I'm so hungry I'm so hungry what's on it is um this there is some curry powder cilantro sriracha and a bit of melted butter on there and what you do is you take a scoop and at the same time you take some um sour cream along with it and you just put it in your mouth and you just eat it and it's just oh my goodness the best thing ever and again this is not how they prepare them in russia this is like a southeast alaska type thing um yeah and i've seen how they prepare it and i'm like man i need my sriracha i need my curry powder but this is i'm so hungry i'm just gonna stop talking i'm so hungry now it's officially time to chill and wait for nap time lucy and i are gonna read we're gonna read Goose and Mick Mick Year One. And this is a book uh, my cousin made for their one year birthday. And it's just a compilation of their newborn photos and just all up until one. And here's just a couple of pages. Once upon a time, there lived a couple, Louise and Abby. They were in love and very, very happy. There's mommy and daddy. One day, they found out they were expecting twins. They were so excited, they didn't know where the baby planning should begin. The first thing on their agenda was to move to Juno, where their family resided that missed them very mucho. <laughs> and here's some just maternity photos. A cold November morning, the Twinkies were born. Although it was chilly out, the feeling of becoming parents kept them warm. Look at how small you guys were, Bubby. Mommy. Me, Kiki. Mm -hmm. Mickey. Mickey. Oh. <laughs> Ewie. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> Stop trying to smell my feet, silly. You're <laughs> so weirdo. Stop trying to smell my feet. Ooh. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Just joking. I kind of just woke up from a little nap. Um, I woke up to thunder and lots and lots of rain. We were supposed to go out to the playground today for the evening and chill, but we've been getting warnings of thunder tornadoes and it's just it's tornado season so it's expected i'm watching videos and reviews on using a grow grow using a gopro for vlogging because i really want a gopro and um all of you guys are like it's you only need a gopro if you go out and do stuff but you know i'm that type to go out and do stuff but how much more awesome would it be is if I had an awesome camera because I love editing and getting creative with my editing. I just haven't done it in a long time. It's just a dream. It's just on my wish list. And, which reminds me, it's about a week till uh, Vegas. I'm so excited to meet everybody. I'm, I'm just that nervous, you guys. I haven't like gone out and really talked with people my age who do the exact same thing that I do. It's just like a whole new world and I'm really nervous. Strangers that I've seen but haven't really met in person but when I meet them in person it's like I already know them. Great things are about to happen and when I think of that I think of my friend Colleen. Colleen Butterfly Kisses 2103. Hi! And I think of her because I think her dad is the one who told her that um, great things are about to happen. Every time I say that, I think of her and I'm just letting you know, Colleen, I'm thinking about you constantly because I think about that phrase. Um, after Vegas, we were going to Lincoln for a camp meeting and then in June, we were going to Texas. I've never been to Texas, so so many things are coming up and I'm just so excited and for some reason, I was thinking about a GoPro at the same time. Oh my goodness, forever grateful. This mommy on a budget is forever grateful. I just love it. So I'm going to make a green juice. It's going to be a very simple green juice. I actually like this one. I don't have to buy too many ingredients, you know. Ice, some spinach, some kale, cut up an apple, some lemon. Squeeze that with my left hand. Ouch. Put some ginger in there. Take some coconut water. Go sit down. Go sit down. Smoothie. See, smoothie. Is 
Is that a good book, Lucy? Is that a good book? Look. See? I've got awesome kids. Every mom says that, but I truly believe it. They're just waiting so patiently um, while I get their dinner ready. And I'm so thankful because if it were the other way around, you guys, I would have a hard time right now. I would go crazy. So they're patiently waiting for me to make their food. Gracias, bubbies. I love you. I love mommy. Oh, gracias, mommy. Si. Sí. De nada. Nada. <laughs> Look, the water is so high. They're draining it. Look. So we decided to go out. After all, it started to clear up, but um, the playground, not today. It's going to be slick and slippery and since it was raining. So. Stay here. Look, it's so hard. Uh-oh. Oh, no! Yeah, oh no. Stay here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So just got back. We've got some coconut milk, chocolate, ice cream, and then got some sugar waffle cones. The kids, they know what ice cream is. All they say is ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ah, uh, queen. Well, the kids are enjoying their I came. I came. I came. Mm-hmm. I came. Oh, I queen. I'm going to do Bible text of the day while they're eating. Just eat. I love you too, Bubby. So this one comes to us from 2 Timothy. This one comes to us from 2 Timothy 1.7, and it says, For God gave us a spirit not of fear, but of power and love and self-control. That's what we need, right? That's what we need to survive every day. Love, power, and self-control. I feel like those are three things that is really hard for any human being to do. Love, because, you know, it's hard to love sometimes when someone is not lovable or someone is not being respectful towards you. And power, sometimes we're just weak. I, at least I am. Sometimes I just feel weak and I just feel powerless. Self-control, there are a lot of things that um, I shouldn't do or say or think about, but it's hard to, um, it's really hard to keep my mind on track. But what keeps me going is my everyday life and my family. Like I'm thinking and doing what's best for my family. Like in the Bible text it said, God gave us this, not fear, but of course, um, in order to cast out fear, we have to trust and love. So instead of having an armor of fear, why not have an armor of love, power, and self-control? How much better would I be if I, if I had that everyday mindset? You guys can answer that for me. <laughs> right, Mommy? So you are strong. Duh. You are loving. Mommy. You are funny. Mommy. You are a blessing. Nice. You're guapa. Baba. Amen. Amen. That's what I say to them every single night. Each of them. And each of them has a different, you know, characteristic. And so for Mike, I'll say, you are sensitive. You are guapo. Guapo. Si. I'm going to end the vlog with bath time. Let's come over here. Come on. Just take off your clothes. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Come in. Gracias. Say good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Go nut. Go nut. Go nut. Go night. Go night. Love you. Say I love you. Say I love you. Good job, Mika. You need a bath. Look at your face. Lucy, say I love you. Adi. 